All right, take a peek. There it is, our first look at Lake Travis. First time for the Bassmaster Elite Series to be here for the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest, benefiting Texas Parks and Wildlife. Welcome to the Toyota Bassmaster Studios. I'm Tommy Sanders here with Davey Hyatt. And Davey, we've seen the best of Texas, I, I thought, you know, all through the years. East Texas, places like Rayburn, the other side with Lake Amistad, but this place is completely different. This place is different. The, the big thing that makes it different for me is we have not been here. A lot of these fishermen, it's their first time ever being on Lake Travis. We'll see how they dissect it. A lot of fish here, catching numbers is not an issue. Being able to catch those bigger fish is going to be the key. Absolutely. Big purse this time around. It's a special event and one big incentive that's going to be huge for the winner. A huge incentive, a guaranteed berth to the Bassmaster Classic. That can take a lot of weight off your shoulder to know that you're already qualified for the Classic mid-year. It can give you that momentum you need to go on and win Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Four days of fishing and we started seeing remarkable things on day one. In fact, the first 10 minutes this fish came in for cliff pace, 10 pounds and five ounces. And that is the Toyota Tundra Big Bass leader for the tournament established early. Ray Hanselman, the Texan. Lake Amistad area, getting the biggest weight of day number one, 21 pounds and 15 ounces. A lot of predictions were that we would not see 20 pounds during the course of this event, but Ray brought him in. Let's take it out to Ray on day number two. Ray Hanselman, from being around Amistad, he is certainly used to fishing for bigger fish like you're gonna have to have here on Lake Travis. Using a big wake bait, not catching many numbers like a lot of the other fishermen here but he is catching the right size. Using big baits, fishing unusually shallow for this time of year in the super clear water. Top waters, jerk baits, and the wake bait has been really good for him here. A lot bigger bait than I would have assumed we would see here this week. Well, that's a keeper, and we're about to see what makes Texas Fest a little bit different each and every year. There's not a marshal, but a judge on the boat. The judge is the one who wields the electronic scale. Every keeper is going to be weighed, recorded, and then released. Hold it with two hands, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. 413? 4.13. Ray Hanselman picking up where he left off on day number one. Already the crowd starting to get out onto Lake Travis and another guy hoping to pick up where he left off on day number one. Arizona's Josh Bertrand, 19 pounds, five ounces. Becoming a pretty good season for you. You know, it's, it's been really good so far for me. I was really happy to come here and, and see that it looks a lot like, you know, where I fish back home all the time. Uh, there are definitely some differences, and lake fish is a little different, but, man, it's just a really, really cool lake. It's fun to catch so many fish, and, uh, you know, you've got a chance to catch one like that any cast. It's Texas, and it's always awesome. Big one. That'll help. Come here. Not real big, but it'll help. He felt like he was about nine pounds after all those other ones we've been catching. We zeroed? Dude, he looks like he's about three to me because I haven't uh, caught anything big. That's hilarious. Two pounds, one ounce. <laughs> Josh Bertrand didn't get the day he got on day number one. We're starting to see that trend playing out pretty frequently. Hard to duplicate, even though there are big fish in here, hard to duplicate those big days. Someone who's really going to have a hard time duplicating. Cliff Pace caught a 10-5 on basically his first cast yesterday. I caught that fish first thing yesterday morning uh, on an offshore place, very similar to, very similar to this place. You know, I only got one bite there. Most of my big bites this week have been like that. They've been random. And, uh, I caught it on a Carolina rig, fish was in probably 25 foot of water. You know, that big fish yesterday morning, she bit right out of the gate first thing, and and uh, fished that spot again this morning, I never had a bite off of it. So, I mean, that just kind of seems like that's the way this lake is right now. Got you, baby, finally. It took all day. Where'd you be? Let's go to zero, sir. Right in the middle. Hold her over here off the, there you go. Show 412. 412 it is. What's the other one in the live wheel? It's three. Finally. All day, finally. 
All day finally is right. Yesterday it was a little easier for Cliff Pace. He caught the 10 pound, five ounce fish, basically his first cast. Today, it was almost his last cast before he caught the fish that he needed, four pounds, 12 ounces. Yeah, his production down, and so was the story for Ray Hanselman, 21 pounds plus. On day one, he caught barely more than half of that. On day number two, yet, he's able to maintain his spot in second place. And our leader, after two days, new leader, Jacob Wheeler. A big day today, 18 pounds and three ounces. Gives him a total of 35 pounds, seven ounces, anchored by that 4-1 from today. And Jacob Wheeler is your brand new leader. And after two days of fishing, that's the way it stacks up in the top 12 right there. Wheeler the most consistent, as we said. Hanselman able to hang in there near the top pace. Christie and Drew Benton rounding out the top five. Two days down and two more days of fishing left to go. We'll start with 50 anglers on day number three when we come back. The Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest is brought to you by Hook. Mercury. Nitro Boats. Abu Garcia. Old Glory flying over the field of 50 here, Toyota Bassmaster. Texas Fest benefiting Texas Parks and Wildlife. We are ready to go with our leader, Jacob Wheeler. I've said it all week, it's a hodgepodge sort of pattern. And you never know what you're gonna get. You know, I'm excited to get out here. It's cloudy, it's windy. The fish are gonna bite today and guys are gonna catch really big bags. You just have to be able to maintain a solid bag every single day. You've seen the guys that caught 21 pounds one day and had eight. The next, it's easy to not catch a big bag here because it's just a lot of times it's just one bite. So you got to capitalize on those bites. All we can do is go out there and try to fish as clean as possible. Take a look at our Yamaha Unlock the Lake. First time on Lake Travis on the Colorado River as it runs through Texas here. And of course, about 20,000 acres and just about anywhere you want to go is a pretty good place, apparently, Davey. All throughout this lake, you see fish being caught, but now that the field has narrowed, we're seeing that some of these guys are fishing a lot shallower than we anticipated coming into this event. Yeah, you know, I'm running up shallow right now just to sort of make sure there's not a whole bunch of them biting on the bank. Just for the fact that it's calm, you know, it's, it's a little windy, you got some cloud cover, the conditions set up for those fish to bite on the bank, but uh, we gotta, you, gotta keep, you gotta keep hodgepodging. That's all you gotta do. That's the kind we need, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Didn't kamikaze it, but he was not coming off. I'm here to let you know. Yeah. 211. 211. Yep. Good job. 211. There we go. Let that one go. It would turn out to be a little bit of a lesser van day for Jacob Wheeler on day number three, only in second place after leading going into this third day of competition. Let's get our first look at Drew Benton, a former rookie of the year, who would on this day fish to the best of his abilities, and you're about to see the results. Let's take a look at Drew Benton. Just turned 30 in the Panhandle of Florida. Almost won his first event with the Bassmaster Elite Series down on the St. Johns River in 2016. But boy, what a day three he had, Davey. You're always looking for an angler that has more than one pattern, more than one thing going. Well, Drew Benton's got a top water bait going. That's been consistent. But early morning, he's been fishing around the marina docks. Day two, he only caught one five-pounder around the same set of docks. Just keeping it honest, he thought it was going away, but 
boy, it was not going away. On day three, he caught over 20 pounds in the morning when he didn't really even expect to catch anything. Drew Benton, definitely the guy moving in the right direction during the course of this tournament. Almost 14 pounds on day number one, closer to 17 pounds on day number two, and 20 pounds, four ounces here on day number three to take over the lead. Ain't no way. Can't help. Nope. That's all right. Still on there. <laughs> 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 Ted, I can't help it. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's why. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel bad shooting it. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. Because this will be on TV. Which I don't feel bad taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That almost worked. <laughs> we've, we've, we've also killed a transmitter, but we'll fix that in a minute. <laughs> it almost worked out. <laughs> hey. I got too big of a hurry trying to go get it, and I hit the dock. <laughs> I guess you're really in the zone where yeah. gravity doesn't even enter your mind at any at any point in time, Davey. Yeah, when you, when you fall in the lake you certainly assume that the fish has gotten off but for Drew Benton everything's going right for him this morning including this all right not too shabby that <laughs> fish remained on for Drew despite his uh, dunking in the waters of Lake Travis and that one there I don't think it's going to help much but still I mean after this you'll take it <laughs> you gotta love you gotta love it pretty good style there I guess from Panama City Florida Drew Benton, 20 pounds, four ounces today, giving you 51 pounds even and your brand new leader. A timely five fish limit for Drew Benton, just turned 30 and now in the lead with a single day left to compete here. In the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest. Let's take a look at the big bags of the tournament, the top five. Drew Benton's is number four there, but it's the only one over the 20s far along in the tournament as we are. We're getting ready for the fourth and final day and there are our top 12 who will take to the water to try to catch this big trophy at this big event in Texas. Redawn at the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest benefiting Texas Parks and Wildlife, this big mid-season event. Anglers of the Bassmaster Elite Series, and we're down to only 12 of them. Only 12 have passed on to this day, and leading the way, Drew Benton still looking for his first Bassmaster Elite Series win in his third year of competition out here. Jake Wheeler already owns a couple of trophies. He's a 20-something, too. Cliff Pace, Brent Chapman, Bobby Lane, and Ray Hanselman round out our top six, and we're ready to get underway and take off, but we see that the lead boat, that would be Drew Benton, Takes the day with the lead, has to do a 180 there. Right after the thing, Davey, this is an infraction, a penalty for an infraction. Yes, Tommy, Drew Benton had a lot going on yesterday morning, including this. He went for a little swim and he had a fish on and he thought that fish had gotten off, but the fish was still on and you see here, he stepped out on the dock to land the fish and that's why he had the, the penalty this morning. A 15 minute delay, which could be crucial. He caught most of that 20 pounds yesterday in the first hour of fishing. Absolutely. He's underway now after sitting out the 15 minutes, but you know that's weighing on his mind. Seems like, as you say, a short period of time, Davey, but that was a huge, huge limit he caught very, very early. In fact, he was wrapping it up uh, before everyone else was basically getting started. We take a look at Lake Travis here. It's uh, not very big in terms of acres, but it takes a long time to get around. It's uh, very narrow and very long, and Drew Benton going back to the place where he started for well, the last two days. You can see the sun's already up a fair amount and he's been starting out with the top water this morning he's changing up a little bit probably because of the delay he's flipping a spoon in these boat dock slips there he is
Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord. There's more with him. How about that? Zero me. Zero me up. 14. 11. 14. Yep. Terrific start for Drew Benton. Will today be a carbon copy of day number three? If it is, he's a guy who is going to be hard to beat here. Coming up from second place, let's take a look at Jacob Wheeler. I just need one, like, four-pounder to get the day started. Pitch a four-pounder off the next place, catch a four-pounder off that place, and then we catch two fives on the bank and we win. Done. That's it. It's 22 pounds. About 20, yeah, 22. That's why I count. Look at that. We're starting the day all right. My wife's a second grade teacher. She'd be proud. She'd be like, yes, good job, Jacob. There we go. That one's plenty long enough. About a 15 half inch. Yep. All right, all these fish have to be 14 inches in length. And getting bites, not a problem for anyone here, but a lot of 13 inch and 12 inch fish in Lake Travis as well. And now we head way, way up the lake here to find Brent Chapman. And things look a little bit different up in this area, Davey. Brent Chapman fishing on the upper end. We haven't seen a lot of people so far this week on the upper end doing well. Surprising to me, but Brent Chapman has got it figured out. The water stained, a little more color. He's fishing shallow with a square bill. Doing really well this morning with top water. You know, I, all I'd been really doing was throwing a square bill down this stuff later in the day, and I figured put this loud, noisy top water on here in the morning, and it's a lot easier to fish and might generate a big one to bite. So, how about in the cave? I caught a good one right here in practice. So one of those spots I need to pick it apart. Until, gosh! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> How about that? In the cave. That was awesome. <laughs> They're getting bigger. Two pounds, six ounces. Two six. Dude, that was awesome right there. Thank you, fish. Even jumping for us. <laughs> Look at that, right where I had a waypoint from the other day in practice. Topwater bite in a limestone cave. That's some hill country postcard fishing right there. Starting to look not so postcard-like oh, here. Things are changing weather-wise on Lake yeah. Travis. It's been sunny and hot all week. It's gonna get very, very wet. Yeah. Drew Benton still on top. We'll be right back. The Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest is brought to you by Berkeley. Humminbird. Toyota. Yamaha. Oh, it will all be resolved today on Lake Travis with Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest, benefiting Texas parks and wildlife. And Lake Travis, Davey Hyde, as we welcome you back to the Toyota Bassmaster Studios, has been great. I mean, it's been a challenge. Full of big ones, yet not a slugfest by any stretch of the imagination. And you can't be a one-trick pony here either. And we like that as we take a look at the Skeeter Boats Taste of Bait. 
We've seen these anglers use a lot of different baits, soft plastics, top water lures, buzz baits, crank baits, a hodgepodge of, of lures, that's for sure. Catching a lemon is not a problem here. A lot of guys are using the top water lures catching those bigger fish. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen it all here, and we like that. We always say that. We like having the diversity out there on the water, and right now we got to think about what's uh, Drew Benton going to do. He's got the lead on this final day, and he's going to have to earn it. Is that going to require him to make some big changes? Drew Benton has been one of those fishermen that has only been catching seven or eight fish a day. He's doing the right thing. Isolated boulders for these bigger fish. Maybe we'll get to hang it on a trophy at the end of the day. Oh gosh, there's a good one underneath it. Man, I followed it. Please, Lord. Barely hooked. Yes! Three five. Three five. We're gonna make it happen on top. That just gives me the confidence though that if I throw this the rest of the day. I'm gonna catch three more keepers, or I'm gonna have opportunity. You see here, when Drew Benton leaves the marinas, he's fishing these rocky banks, looking for those isolated boulders that are a little larger than the others. Florida's Drew Benton still leading this tournament right now. Another Floridian who's had a great week here in Central Texas. Big fish Bobby Lane from down there in Central Florida, bringing his skills here. Day one, 21 pounds for Bobby Lane. Since then, well, it's been more of a struggle tricky thing about this lake, Jacob Wheeler said it this morning, that your small fish is your, is your worst enemy. Today I got all small ones, but you never know. I mean, there could be a five to eight pounder sitting right here and he can hit just like a, you know, in one of these schools with these little ones. So that's the difference maker that, it, that the difference maker's been this week is getting that one big bite or two big bites or three like the first day, so. Keep hunting around for them. Boy, that feels good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely bigger than a one six. Yeah, yeah, that's a two plus. I love it, I love it. Oh. Two pound, nine ounce. Two nine, a little, little better than two and a half. Man, look how pretty and healthy they are. Golly. I said I've caught 50 in the last 10 minutes and then boom, you catch a two and a half pounder. And there she is, perfect. Sign and gone. Bobby Lane talking about what so many guys here have been going through on Lake Travis and that's going through a lot of numbers of fish just to get six or seven keepers during the course of the day. As we move from Bobby Lane over to Jacob Wheeler. He's been doing that especially and doing it with many, many different techniques. The hodgepodge, as he says. Come on, baby. So we're gonna run this, we're gonna make a couple more casts, and we're gonna run to the school that's got a thousand of them in it. And then after that, we're gonna go run to the top water the rest of the day. Cool, giant one, dude. Giant, dude. Giant. That's the one we need, baby. That's the one we need. Come here, baby. 
you slide back here. Boom! Yes, sir! Five, seven. Yep, five, seven. Yeah! I gotta say yes, too. Top water, Texas fish. Jacob Wheeler getting it done. Catching fish shallow on top water. Fishing offshore, catching more numbers than anyone we've been able to watch this week. 40, 50 fish just in the morning offshore. Caught a glimpse of his depth finder just a few minutes ago, and you can just see schools of fish underneath him. But it's not a numbers game. It's only five fish here at Texas Fest, and Cliff Pace has been able to get a couple of the right size. We started his tournament, the first cast, 10 pounds and five ounces. Started the day five pounds back, just one big one. You can double that. It's been a very good week for me. It's been a grind, but I've managed to, to catch a decent weight each day, and hopefully I can do it again one more time. So we're just gonna go fish hard, and hope the good Lord blesses us with a big string of fish that puts us in contention. I believe that will make the grade. You better measure, you sucker. Yes. One five. Man, it's just, it's a grind. I mean, that's the only thing I can say. I mean, I've caught a bunch of fish this morning, just not the right kind. No two pounders. I don't know if it's the weather. Like that fish hit at it and hit at it and hit at it and never would get it. Yeah, the weather is certainly changing. Different parts of the lake having different weather conditions. Rick Chapman on the upper end, there's some severe storms up there. It really hurts your top water fishing if it starts raining too hard. Well, he's been scoring with the top water. Earlier we saw a really good bite there. Rick Chapman just fishing on here through whatever comes his way, trying to make something happen here. He started the day in fourth place, remains in fourth place right now, but he was on top of the world in 2012. The Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year Award collected that one up in Syracuse, New York in Lake Oneida, but anchored it with this win at Toledo Bend earlier oh in the season. And right now, let's take a look at those points. And hey, there he is, Brent Chapman, starting to look a lot like 2012 to him, at least in this point of the season, with the lead over a fellow competitor out there, Cliff Pace, Josh Bertrand, who also did well here, and Jared Lintner holding on for fourth place in that race, which is ongoing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just had to say something. Boom! Yeah, there we go. What was I saying about the big one? Bam! <laughs> There's how you get well in a hurry right there. That's a beauty. 411? 411. 411. That's how you make a good call right there. Fantastic topwater catch of a largemouth bass from Lake Travis for our Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year points leader, Brent Chapman. Brent Chapman moving up Ooh. into third place. And you ask yourself right now, is he the one that's going to make the move at Drew Benton? We'll be back. Got you, baby. <sighs> I guess the hell that no measure, won't it? Huh? Today we're here at Lake Travis. It's a featured reservoir here in Central Texas, and this is the second year of the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest. The city of Jonestown is really connected to fishing. Matter of fact, as you drive through the city of Jonestown, you'll see banners, you know, up on their telephone poles as you go through, and what do they feature? they feature a fish. So the Toyota Share Lunker program uh, is a promotion and enhancement program for lunker bass fishing in Texas public waters. The program has two main channels of participation. So one is someone who catches a 13 pound bass will loan that to us for spawning purposes and we'll selectively breed that uh, 13 pound bass for its genetics and then stock those back into the public waters of Texas. And the other is Outside of that spawning window, an angler who catches a bass at eight pounds or larger can enter it through our mobile app or our web-based form. Um, they're submitting catch and genetic data to us. 
special part of this event is we decided to go ahead and recognize our, our Toyota Legacy Anglers. Our Legacy Anglers are the anglers who have caught and donated a 13 pound or larger largemouth bass during this window of time in the spring to allow us to breed these fish. So we're using the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest as an opportunity to recognize those anglers for the steps that they took to donate those fish for our selective breeding program. Uh, fishing is a very important industry to the state of Texas and in the nation. I'm proud of the city of Jonestown and what they're bringing to the table trying to feature fishing as an important outdoor recreational opportunity in our state. Thank you, Dave. Texas Parks and Wildlife and the Toyota Share Lunker Program. Getting those big bass jeans and so many of these fantastic Texas lakes. Cliff Pace got a load of that on day one. In the Toyota Big Bass Award with that freak panda right there. Boom, shakalaka, choo 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 choo, giant bass. Well, that was three and a half days ago, and Cliff Pace still hanging on to that spot atop the list. Toyota Big Bass Award. And He's hoping that will result in him receiving a Toyota Tundra at the end of this tournament. Meanwhile, he's doing what he can to win it. Don't you go towards that dock. Got you, baby. <laughs> I guess the hell that no measure, won't it? Huh? Oh, finally. Eight one. Eight one. Hold it. Hold it up. You just gotta keep grinding, man. I mean, that's what this lake is. That's what it's been all week. If you catch us another one like that, things can get interesting. Like real interesting. I would say it's gonna get real interesting. You catch those eight pounders, it gets real interesting on the final day of this Texas Fest. Cliff Pace starting out the tournament with a 10 pound, five ounce bass, leading the way for the Toyota Tundra truck to be giving away at the end of the day today. Here you have an eight pound, one ounce fish. It goes a long way. So many small fish, we see all these anglers catching. An eight or a 10 pound bass means so much. Cliff Pace using different baits, but basically staying in one area. He's fished a Carolina rig, right there a jerk bait, some top water. Just settled down in one area. Well, one guy who's not been in one area, he's been all over the lake all week long. Jacob Wheeler, not only changing places, changing baits with regularity. His plan not really working out today. For the most part, I've been doing two different programs. In one program, I've been catching them out deep in the mornings and just to secure a limit. And then I've been going up shallow and throwing a plopping style bait. And I knew in practice I had to figure something out to catch a better than the average fish. So, you know, I, I definitely had some schools and I definitely have caught uh, probably half of the fish that I've weighed in out deep, but I'm able to go shallow every single day and catch two, two and a half, and you know, even a, you know, a, every once in a while a big one, of, you know, a five, I caught a five pounder the first day. Dang. Lightning, don't do it to me, dude. Oh, I'm gonna be mad as heck. Ooh. We gotta run everything we got, ASAP. Dang it. Please do not miss that. I gotta see if that cell misses. They do not like it when it's lightning and thundering. Not a big, big one. He's not hooked good. Oh, he's hooked good. Get in here, bro. Ooh, don't do it, don't do it. Don't you do it. Two pounder. Two, Two pounds, three ounces. I agree. Two, three. We need to get that rid of that one for sure. 
but everything over two, man, you just, that's five. We gotta keep it up, catching fours and fives. Well, you heard Jacob Wheeler there, he does have a limit, but he knows he needs the fours and fives. He's gonna challenge the leader, Drew Benton. Meantime, a couple of fives would go a long way for this guy, Brent Chapman. Not in the lightning, but he's been in the rain for a good long while now. He's gotten some results out of it. Needs to get a little bigger. I think what these fish do, they, they roam around these flats and get up on the bank chasing that shad spawn. And then as the day progresses, they gravitate to a piece of cover where they have some shade and security. And that's where this worm's really been uh, excelling. There we go. Hey. Boom! What was I saying about catching a good one off of there? <laughs> it's in the bottom lip. <laughs> There's a good coal. I guess they like the worms. Look at that fish. Is that not a beautiful fish? Yeah, that one. Uh, that was a kamikaze fish. I was kind of giving up on that, and it must have chased it out and got it. Three, three more. Good? Three, four. <laughs> three, four. <laughs> well, every solid keeper caught on the final day is a beautiful fish by definition. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Brent Chapman is right on. Absolutely. As we head out to Drew Benton and Davey, he abandoned his his early technique really a long time ago. He did. Drew Benton had a perfect one-two punch going on, in my opinion. He was fishing those marinas early, and then when the sun came out, he was fishing, looking for these larger boulders along these banks. Unfortunately for him, there has been little to no sun today, but he's still trying to get it done using this big top water. Thought for a minute to put a buzz bait on, but I just, if they come up slapping a buzz bait, you ain't gonna hook them. That's cold rain there. Ooh. See that one missing a while ago right there? I had one pull it under right there. Rain pelts down. Drew Benton bearing down with his top water lure right here. I mean, he's only been able to catch six or seven keepers a day, and this rain is not what he wanted. <laughs> really hasn't helped his top water. He didn't think he'd be able to catch a limit. Boy, would number five mean so much to him right now. That looks like it's gonna be number, oh yeah, that's easily yeah. number five for Drew Benton there. Yeah. Things are looking way better for him. When that one comes in the boat right there, so Drew Benton, five fish, extending his lead. Time running out on championship day. Every day I've come down this bank, I've had that three pounder follow the bait and not eat it. And he ate it in this rain. Three pounds and six ounces that go right to his bottom line to make a five fish limit for Drew Benton. His day didn't start as quickly as day number three did, but it's finishing a little bit faster and that could mean everything in the world. This young man looking for his first Bassmaster Elite Series win. The Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest is brought to you by Skeeter Boats. Power Pole. Triton Boats. Minkota. Final day of Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest to benefit Texas Parks and Wildlife. Bobby Lane started this tournament with a bang, over 21 pounds. Here on the final day, he's sort of been languishing in seventh place. He's catching smaller ones. So many of them just under keeper size today, but he's got a good one on now. That's a good one. Oh, don't jump, don't jump.
never know. You never know. You never know. Well, take us and over to the scale. You never know, Gwen. You never know. One cast away. We just need a couple more of this part. And I don't know what this one weighs, but to find out. gotta be a four or something. Four three. Four three. What a way to end the day. I know he's 18. Lake Travis. Bobby Lane, you can't choose one over 18, one fish to take back to the weigh-in. Bobby chooses that one, understandably right there. And everybody here in the final minutes of this tournament, just seeing what you can turn up. Everybody's out there looking and looking hard. Take one more look at our tournament leader right now. Drew Benton should be doing better, Davey, with the sun out. This is the conditions that Drew Benton wanted. He's done well so far today without the sun, but you can see right here, the sun certainly helps him. Oh, yeah. Drew Benton looking for these bigger boulders, sitting off the bank in about four or five feet of water. That's where those fish like to gravitate to, use that shade of those boulders for their cover. Drew Benton looking for one more call before we head to the weigh-in, bumping up against 68 pounds, and it looks like this one is going to be an upgrade. Three-pounder. Thank you, Lord. Oh, man. Let's get ready to run! From Pedal, Mississippi, game face, Cliff Pace. Oh, boy, he's your big bass leader right now. And this one from today, already leading Tundra Big Bass. Boom, shakalaka, giant bass. Two battles, as I said, are going on here right now. You want to win the truck, the Tundra Big Bass, and you also would love to win the tournament. I mean, might as well take them both home. There was not a fish caught bigger than you. You haven't won the tournament, but you are our Tundra Big Bass champion, a brand new Toyota Tundra for Game Face Clip Pace. Your Tundra Big Bass, 10 pounds, 5 ounces. The youngest angler ever to win the Forest Wood Cup from Indianapolis, Indiana, Jacob Wheeler. 48 pounds and 6 ounces to start the day. You're looking for 13 pounds and 7 ounces. Hit it. 16 pounds, 2 ounces. And with that, we say goodbye to Cliff Pace, and we say hello to Jacob Wheeler, ladies and gentlemen. Looking forward to seeing how it finishes. Let's roll through our final angler. He is a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year from Panama City, Florida, Drew Benton. Let's have a look at his kicker fish from today. Jacob, I'd ask you to stand over here looking for 13 pounds, nine ounces to win your first Elite Series event. Hit it. 16 pounds, 15 ounces, 16, 15. And with that, Drew Benton becomes a Bassmaster Elite Series champion. To do the trophy handoff, I'd like to welcome Dave Terry from Texas Parks and Wildlife. Your 2018 Toyota Bassmaster Texas Best Champion, Drew Benton. $100,000. And one more, the gifts keep coming right here. One more gift. You are now a 2019 Geico Bassmaster Classic Qualifier. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that. that. I even said backstage, I'm almost more excited about that than, than the win. It, you know, the classic was a, a life-changing experience for me, and I can't wait to get back again. Awesome to watch you this week. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Drew Benton. Well, the closest Drew Benton has ever come to winning a Bassmaster Elite Series event was in his very first event down on the St. John's River. Now, three years later, he just turns 30. I guess the maturity kicks in. He closed it, and this was not an easy one to close, David. Drew Benton got off to a great start. He won Rookie of the Year his very first year. Almost won that first event, like you mentioned, Tommy. He's a great fisherman. Did not have the start he wanted this year, 
but man, did he get all that fixed in a hurry. He got an automatic berth to the Bassmaster Classic. We could see Drew Benton shine the rest of the year like we never had before. Absolutely, he had to go through a lot to get there, but congratulations, Drew Benton, our champion. We'll see you next time here on the Bassmaster Elite Series.